hi everyone in youtube i hope everyone is doing wonderful so i wanted to come back with another video i um chose to make this um video separate i guess this purse video separate from the other purses i wanted to kind of divide the videos just because i bought this item pre-loved i don't know if i'm even making any sense right now but um i just kind of thought i would make this video separate because i did buy this item pre-loved in the previous purses that i um unboxed and or revealed were bought new at the store so i just kind of wanted to have um a story for this purse and just make its own video I guess the purse serves its own video <laughs> I don't know um, anyhow I did buy this pre-loved and this is the Louis Vuitton totally in the PM size and um, I did buy this at a pawn shop I did get this authenticated on top of me authenticating it when I was at the pawn shop it came with the receipt and um, this is a chain of pawn shops here in Chicago that have a really good reputation I do have my own essay that I normally go to at the Louis Vuitton store and he did um, check out the bag and he definitely told me it was authentic actually more than one person there um, checked it out when I was there that day if you have a relationship with an essay they are a lot of the times willing to help you and just kind of look at the item and stuff and give you their opinion however i knew it was real it came with a receipt i know louis vuitton really well i've been using it for many many years and i think i've owned monogram in general the most so it's just for me it's the easiest to authenticate to be quite honest with you in my eyes at least um, so it is authentic definitely I don't use anything that is a replica the bag did come in excellent condition as you could see the leather is really really great um, I did come with some stains on pretty much the inside of the strap which really aren't really noticeable and then I accidentally ended up giving it a stain when I first started using it when I first bought it and this is the one and it was on the outside of the strap so I was kind of disappointed but you know what just with Vachetta leather you just don't know what can happen anything can get on it by accident and or with the rain or whatnot and it can definitely either stain it permanently or just it be temporary and dry right off it just depends what falls on it this was a coffee stain and coffee had sugar obviously and um, it just didn't come off so it is what it is it honestly doesn't bother me as much as it did in the beginning I sort of kind of like threw it to the side after that happened and I was like no no I don't want to use it I'm just gonna make it worse <clears throat> but then I started using it again I used it maybe two days in a row before that happened and then I just put it away and it's been away since and I started using it again today actually this morning so um, this is totally in the PM I know when I was originally in the market to buy one of these I was checking out the MM but honestly it was too big for me even though I am media bill it just I really didn't like how this particular tote looked in that size I really enjoy it in this size I think it's perfect it's pretty big it fits a lot I don't think that I need any more space than this and um, I love the pockets I love that you, you can just kind of throw things in there really fast if you're just kind of like in a rush or hurry you don't want to open the zipper whatever the case may be it's just they're very um the the pockets are very like you can make a lot of use from them to be quite honest with you i like that mine um the little leather tabs on the end are f pretty flat they're not like rolling out or anything like that so when i bought it i knew the person took care of it the condition of the leather i know i did add some damage to it considering that it was in pretty much mint condition until i did that little Damage. This was the only thing that was really there that was bothering me and this was on the inside when I got it and then I did the damage to it. But as you could see the leather is pretty much um, very light. Uh, this The person that used it hardly used it. The receipt was in there. The corners are in mint condition. I mean everything was just in mint condition and uh, I honestly got, got this. I mean... Honestly, I probably didn't even pay half of what it's what it was worth at the store. What it's worth at the store, uh, it was in. Uh, I mean, it was just 
such such a bargain to be honest with you I don't even want to say but it was just a bargain and I just couldn't pass on it even though the totally is not ex um, a told that I would totally be like oh I have to have that item it wasn't ever on the top of my wish list it was an item that I liked because I love totes and I thought if I could ever get get my hands on a pre-loved one in excellent condition I will definitely buy it but it was not a purse that I was willing to buy at retail price just because it didn't call me like that I found it it had a great great price so I thought why not just keep it and um you know just enjoy the bag and love it and um honestly i do love it i think it's great i think it fits a whole lot i think that the size is perfect to be quite honest with you especially if you like medium-sized bags i would definitely say this passes as a medium-sized bag as we know some of the pm sizes in louis vuitton depending on the totes specifically totes run larger than the other type of pm bags so i think it's a great buy i think it's great and yeah i just wanted to share this with you ladies i hope that everyone had a wonderful christmas that everyone has a wonderful new year's eve new year in general and that all your wishes come true i hope everyone stays out of trouble this holiday and that everyone is safe take care everyone ladies and gentlemen god bless everyone and goodbye Ciao!